Kaminsky working on this forecast, everybody. It is 540 on a Friday morning. We're September 4th now, and uh, you know, the look over the next seven to 10 days is definitely a cooler one. Summer is not over yet. It's going to return down the line, but uh, not over this next week or so. In fact, we're trending cooler after a high yesterday. Briefly, by the way, early afternoon of 85 degrees. We're going to be off that by about uh, 10, probably closer to 15 degrees for a daytime high today. Tower cam in GR. We've got no precipitation around and really we don't have many winds either uh, for the majority of us. Still some breezy conditions right along the lakeshore and waves are going to maintain themselves between about three to five, even six feet in spots today. Uh, winds will pick up through this morning and early afternoon, not to the extent of yesterday. By the way, the peak wind gust in GR on Thursday was 46 miles per hour. So that was the kind of late morning and afternoon that we did have uh, kicking up those waves along Lake Michigan. You want to take note, folks, stay out of the waters of Lake Michigan. We don't need any problems. Rip currents causing issues today, likely over the weekend as well, though the waves won't be as substantial Saturday and Sunday. They're probably going to be picking up rather substantially again by Labor Day Monday. Cool air around the Midwest. Uh, readings have dropped down. We've brought down some Canadian air. So the deeper the green colors, the cooler it gets. And then eventually, once it gets cool enough, you start to get into those light blue colors over Wisconsin, where readings have fallen into the 40s. And then uh, very widespread are the blues once you get uh, into central and northern Canada. The nights are getting longer now. And that plays a huge role in terms of how cool it can get. And of course, that starts in Canada and then uh, eventually makes its way down here as we work through October, November and uh, into December. But not quite yet, everybody. It's still early September. It can warm up and uh, we're going to make it into the lower 70s this afternoon, despite a pretty cool air mass overhead. Winds are light, as I mentioned, so they have come down dramatically ever since yesterday. We've got dew points in the 40s. It's a dry, bone dry atmosphere, really. But uh, by the time we get to Sunday, we're going to pick up some humidity by later in the day. And uh, with that approach of humidity and a disturbance, there'll be a much better chance for some showers. And uh, in fact, uh, maybe even some heavier showers at some point on Sunday. Having said that, there could actually be a few sprinkles tomorrow morning. We'll touch on that in a moment. But the main rain zone is to be Sunday, late morning and afternoon, and then uh, perhaps at times next week as a boundary sets up uh, very nearby, separating uh, much cooler air from much warmer air. So the temperature forecast pretty difficult. But nonetheless, not today difficult. 72 we get to and a uh, pretty calm day other than just some breezy weather that's going to kick up later this morning. Cool air overhead, dry air and uh, really precluding any chance for precipitation. So the odds of seeing any rain today, zero percent. It does look like until later on overnight tonight when there may be some sprinkles. Now watch this model as we go forth. 2.30 on the model out towards 4, 5, 6 o'clock. Uh, you see those green colors? That is just some mid-level clouds starting to drift across Lake Michigan. Sometimes uh, the, some of the models detect that as rainfall, but uh, that first wave of mid-level clouds not producing any rain. The second wave of some green colors, that could be some sprinkles overnight tonight. We're talking about maybe like 2, 3 a.m. to 8 a.m. tomorrow morning, a patch of sprinkles a light shower for somebody that clears out of here. Really all it's going to do is just turn the pavement damp in some locations, but not much accruing in the rain gauge. However, look at this latest run of the European model right through Thursday of next week. This takes into account some showers, maybe a thunder shower Sunday uh, at times overnight Sunday and into early Monday. And then again, uh, I think the focus Tuesday and Wednesday, all of it put together. Again, this may be a little bit overdone, but you get the idea. We've got the chance to get fairly wet over the next week. So stay tuned to the forecast and uh, see how they get updated. Bottom line, readings in the 70s. You can see we're toning it down. Summertime, well, it's losing its grip this week, but I do think it will return. We'll talk more in just a few minutes. Fox Sports is planning an expansion that they're hoping can rival ESPN. Plus, Freeform has released uh, 